In this video, we're going to visit a real live shipyard and show you how to install a Verifold sail drive on a Yanmar sail drive leg. To install a Verifold folding sailboat propeller is really quite straightforward. Um, there's a little bit more to it than a normal propeller installation insofar as you have to take the propeller apart. So what I'm going to do in this video is just very quickly show you how to dismantle the propeller and then we're going to hop over to the, uh, the marina and I'm going to show you how to fit it on a Yanmar sail drive leg. So the first thing you're going to need when you start this is the propeller is going to arrive fully assembled and you're going to have the, uh, the nuts and the lock nut uh, inside the propeller. So the first thing you have to do is a four millimeter Allen key and you're just going to take off the uh, anode off the top. It's just three little bolts. Um, they won't be loctited from the factory. They'll just come off. They'll all be nice brand new bolts on <laughs> like this propeller. They'll all come off very, very straightforward. Uh, the anode and the anode holder come off together. Again, I'll mention this in the video, but this is actually two parts. So this yeah, it comes off. This one here, and this is a, obviously a workshop model. Um, there's two parts. I say this as a word of caution because commercial zincs um, come with little tabs on that you would weld straight to the side of steel ships. So when a shipyard sees this, they often think it's a disposable part and they throw this away. And this is an expensive part. Uh, next, uh, M6. Um, and you're just going to take out the, uh, the bolts that hold the pivot pins. I'll just do this one. Now, if you've been watching any of my other videos, this is the one I actually rebuilt to do the early service. So these these uh, bolts here have actually been uh, Loctited in place with the blue Loctite. I've freed up, there's one gone, I've freed up two of them, but the last one I didn't do. So let's just get those out. Okay, so that's the three, one, two, three. Now the next thing to strip it down is we're going to we're going to have to take out the pivot pins and these just push through very straightforward like so. Now then at this point the most important thing to remember is that the blades are all dynamically balanced at the factory. So what I do is on the blade you're going to have the pitch and the diameter on what's called the blade palm. Now this is an important part which rests on the buffer pad just inside the propeller there. You can just see that in there. So what I do is uh, just number the blades however you want to do it. A, B, C, one, two, three. So I write on the pad. So number one and then number one on here. Set that blade aside. The next blade the pin comes out. And again, number two. Number two. And finally, number three. Three. And there's the blades. So you should have a hub that looks something like that now. There's a camera. So you can see all the, uh, the white buffer pads have been numbered. We've got the blades set to one side. One, two, three. And you're just about ready to start um, the rebuild, uh, the installation, sorry. So the things that you'll need is obviously you keep all the parts for the propeller uh, ready to hand. I, I put them in little plastic bags just to keep them together. So we've got the anode with its three screws, um, the three screws for the buffer pads. Um, I tend to use a pipe wrench. Uh, this is just by uh, Nipex, just any pipe wrench will do. Um, and I use this to put on the anode at the end to nip it up. So that's a pipe wrench. So an M6 and an M4 Allen key. Um, and then inside the propeller here, when you open it up, the factory will, will have the nut for it. And that just looks just like so. It's got a hole at the top with a, an M8 bolt that's going to go inside. So this is 24, this is 24 millimeters. Um, so you just need a 24 mil socket. Either the yard can have it or this is Home Depot. It's like six bucks or something. Um, so we've got the nuts. The lock nut is the same as the uh, for the lock pins, and then a torque wrench. Um, most people will just use the yards. Um, I carry my own. I actually carry two. We carry the one for the propeller nut, 
and then I have a bicycle one that we use for um, doing all the smaller ones. It just has, it's in Newton meters, it's smaller, it's more easy to handle. So once you have all these tools, um, you're ready to go to the boat. So let's head over there now and then do the installation. Okay, so today we're going to be putting on a, a sail drive um, propeller, a uh, very fold, on a SD25 sail drive leg. Uh, we've got the hub all ready to go, and uh, we're just going to run through it very quickly how to do this. So typically with a sail drive leg, you should have this little spacer, which is a very, very important part. Uh, this pushes the propeller off uh, the sail drive leg and off uh, the, um, the anode as well. So this is to make sure this, this part has to be on, and it's not a... A propeller part, it's actually a, a Yanmar part. Next thing to do, let's see if I can do this in one go, is to get, there we go, to get the, the hub and it slides straight on. And you can see the butts in gear, it's got a little bit of movement on it. Next, propeller nut. And this just sits inside. Now this is very important because when you build a propeller like we've done in the, uh, in the video series, um, I've always built them up on the workbench and I've never um, it's, it's never um, had the nut on the inside, so you put all the blades on, then you can't get into the nut. So this style of propeller has to have the nut put on first before you build the blades on. And next, get a little torque wrench. I'll just get there. There we go. Now the next most important thing, is the lock screw. And it comes with it all set in, this one here. So you just need a little bit of Loctite. And I use a bicycle torque wrench for this. Uh, it's just set into newton meters, it's kind of small. Let's see if I can reach it. Set to 15 newton meters, I can't. Okay, it's done. The next step is to match the blades up. Now when we put them on, I've marked all the blades on each section. So this one is blade three, that's going in blade three. Pivot pins just slide straight through. They're all nicely machined. And slides through like so. There's one. Two. It's a little tight, that one. one. Make sure that the blades all mesh nicely. So you can see, they all fold beautifully. Once you've got the pivot pins in, next thing to do is to lock the pivot pins in place. Now again, this is going to be a little bit more Loctite. A little bit on each of the bolts. Great. Final part, this all comes in one piece but it is actually two, is the anode and the anode holder. So a lot of shipyards will throw this part out, the bronze part, because it looks like it comes together. This is actually two separate parts. And this just covers the gear and this protects the propeller from cathodic actions dissolving it. Again. A little bit of 
Loctite. And there you have it. There's one propeller installed and ready to get splashed. So that's how you fit a Verifold folding sailboat propeller. With a little bit of organisation and just following the instruction sheet that it came with, it's a very straightforward process and something that shouldn't take you more than 45 minutes to complete. Um, just take your time with it. Uh, make sure everything's locked tighted and everything's tightened up and you shouldn't have any issues. If you do have any issues, uh, we're here to help. Our contact details are on the end of the video. We have our phone number and we also have an email you can get in touch and we'll solve any of all of your problems. It's a very, very great product. It's very easy to install and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.